Hello and welcome. This is Ava with the Candid Cash Flow Podcast and HeyYoAva.com and I'm going to show you how to digitize your artwork using the free program Inkscape. So just a few little things that I want to get out of the way. First of all, this is only going to work for line art for now. Um, so you're going to want to color your artwork inside of some other program whether that's something free online Photoshop whatever um, as this doesn't translate too well uh, to something that's colored it that might just be something that's outside of my uh, skill set so I'm just gonna open up a quick piece here let's see let's go from desktop and I'll just show you how to do this real quick. Now, this is just I don't know why it does that. You know, it's free, so it can minimize if it wants to, I guess. All right, so this is just a, a really it's not even a great picture that I took with my phone um, just for this purpose so that I could digitize this line art so what you want to do is click on the the image to select it then go up to path and select trace bitmap and you're gonna get this window right here uh, go ahead and turn your live preview on so you can see kinda of what you're gonna get and I just leave all this stuff default. Um, you're welcome to play with it. I've tried to do like the multiple scans and you know my computer just wants to explode. So um, I've tried doing color. It didn't work that great. Um, you know I just need to do some more experimentation. But for the pur purposes and limitations of this video we're just going to stick to line art and assume that we can clean this up and color it in another program. You can even color it in Inkscape too as well. You can see all of the colors available to you down here along the bottom. So anyway, on with the the uh, tracing. So we're ready to go. You can see what your output's going to look like here. And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and let the program do its work. Now, if I click on this, I can see that I have a copy here that I can move. I'm going to go ahead, move it to the side, and then click on the, the original one. And I'm going to delete that. So what I'm left with is just my line art here. Now you'll see there's some stuff here along the edge and things like that. We can easily fix that just to go over to edit path by nodes and click on that and this craziness happens and all you need to do is click and drag around these to select them and just hit delete and they should go away. You may have to uh, right click. Oh that there they went. Sometimes you have to right click and delete. I, like I said, you know, the program is free. It has some quirks. I, I'm not going to, as a free user, I'm definitely not going to complain. So I'm just going to select this and I'm going to press delete. Now, uh, if you just click back over onto this selection tool, it will get rid of these nodes. Now, you can see there's like probably millions of, of editable nodes in this piece and all that does is allow you to clean up your artwork if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't digitize well if it's not very your lines are crooked or you know I don't know but anyway um, you'll see that if I zoom in on this that it's uh, you know it's the edges there or it's you know it's an accurate trace and there's some things there that could be cleaned up um, but at the same time you'll also notice that it is a scalable vector graphic at this point um, if you do want to clean it up there's a couple ways you can do that you can either go in and with the um, edit path by nodes and edit it all those crazy nodes or you can uh, just I believe if you there is yeah this right here if you go to path simplify 
it heavily reduces the number of nodes that are here. I believe you have to. Yeah, so you can see now there's a significantly less, and we didn't lose too much detail in our image. So it's a lot easier to edit when there's a lot less nodes. So that's how I digitize my artwork on the cheap using Inkscape. And at this point I can color or do whatever it is that I want to do with this piece. I can, this is a great way to turn your artwork into um, coloring book pages and things like that as well completely free with this software and this is again just a hand-drawn piece that um, that I took a horrible picture of with my phone so that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching if you like what you see please subscribe I'll be coming out with more along these same lines and and lots of other things as well so I would love to have you on board listen have a great day and I'll see you in the next video